Hello everyone. In this video we are going to talk about one of the most important topics residents should master, which is sign out. During the inpatient care transition, the resident communication will become fundamental at each shift change. We are using the iPass mnemonic which is simple, informative and practical method of conducting the sign out. Following the implementation of the iPass handoff bundle, a study in the New England Journal of Medicine found that error decreased by 23% and preventable adverse event medical error resulting in harm to patient decreased by 30%. There are no significant changes in the duration of oral handoff per patient, 2.4 versus 2.5 minutes or the resident workflow. Before we discuss how to use the iPass mnemonic, first I will talk about how to print the actual signout sheet from Citrix. To print the signout sheet, log into the Citrix desktop, then click on Start CIS icon after it opens. Click on Signout button, you will see the patient list. From the blue bar, make sure to select the facility base on which hospital you are in. We will choose Detroit Receiving Hospital for now. Then click on your service and choose your service from the drop down menu, for example, DRH Internal Medicine. And click on select your team button and choose your team from the menu like Internal Medicine A1. From the bar below, select Print Report. You can choose the sign of report in different format. Another menu will pop up from there, you can choose the patient list, maybe change the font size or the status of your patient. The information will auto-populate in word-like document, hit print and here you go. Take the printed paper to the person on call and start your sign out. How to sign out using iPass mnemonic? Here is a simple explanation of the iPass signout. I. The I stand for illness severity. This gives information on the stability of the patient, stable, watcher or unstable, as well as their code status, full code, DNR or DNI. For example, this is a watcher patient and he is a full code. P. The P stands for patient summary. In this section we will give a brief description of the patient which include age, pertinent past medical history, the history of presenting illness, the most important vitals and lab findings, the working diagnosis and treatment plan. For example, the resident can say this is a 64 years old man with past medical history of hypertension and MI, comes to the emergency department with worsening shortness of breath for the last two months. He also has leg swelling and easy fatigability. Patient was diagnosed with decompensated CHF and treated with O2 and IV Lasix and started on Carvedilor and Lysenopril. A stand for action list, which is your own call to do list. For example, the signing out resident tells the receiver his potassium was ordered at 8 pm and is still pending. Please check it and manage accordingly. I also need you to check his echo result as it wasn't available. See if he has a pericardial effusion. A bad example for the action list as if he said, I need you to check his vitals every 4 hours and monitor his breathing. This is wrong because checking vitals is not his job, nursing check his vitals, and the on-call person does not monitor breathing. S. The first S stands for Situation Awareness and Contingency Planning, which include any anticipated issue you expect to happen and what do you recommend doing in case that it does happen? Example, the residents say 
If his troponin result is elevated, start on non therapy and call cardiology. Bad example is saying if he is hypoxic, give him O2, as this is common sense and is unnecessary. S. The second S stands for synthesis by receiving. The receiver summarized what was heard to verify patient information. An example for that, the receiver can say, OK, this is a watcher, 64 years old man, presented with decompensated heart failure, doing well. You want me to check his pending potassium and his echo result and follow up on his troponin result. If it's elevated, I will start heparin and be sure to consult UPG cardiology. The receiving resident or provider should also ask any question of concern at what action needed in this regard. For example, he can ask if the patient is on pain medication now, and what should I do if he asks for it. And here is a quick review for the eye pass mnemonic. I. Illness severity. P. Patient summary. A. Action list. S. Situation awareness and contingency planning. S. Synthesis by receiving. Thanks for listening and I hope we cover the sign out process to the best that we can. And always remember, standard sign out, less communication errors, less adverse event, and better patient care.